Hello everyone. After differential calculus, we move on to the next domain of calculus that is integral calculus. To begin with this topic, let's draw an analogy. Let's say y is a function of x. Now, if you know that y is a function of x, and if I want to get x, given that I know y, what I do? I perform some operation on y. And that operation is known as inverse. So if I take inverse of y, I get x. Similarly, if you know that y, well, let's say gx is the derivative of x. Now, if I know gx, what do I do to get fx? So I have to find fx given that I know gx. In this case, I need to perform some sort of an operation. Here we performed an inverse operation. Here we perform an antiderivative operation and that antiderivative operation is known as integration. So if I integrate gx, I will get fx. Okay. So this was the analogy I wanted to discuss with you. Now, Let's move on to some of the basic formulae used in integral calculus and to derive those formulae, I will use the concept of differentiation. You know that what is the differentiation of this? So if I want to know the derivative of this. I know it's 1, right? So, and it's is nx n minus 1. So, I'll get a n plus 1 here. This gets cancelled and I'll get x of n. So, derivative of this is given by xn. Okay. So, if I know this and I want to get this, what I'll do? I'll integrate this. So, integration of xn dx is n1 divided by xn, n plus 1. Now, before we move further, I want to know, let's say I have a function f of x. And I differentiate this, I will get c of x. What will be the derivative of this? The derivative of this will be also gx because if you differentiate this, you will get gx. And if you differentiate a constant, you will get 0. So this is also gx. So if I know this, how do I know that my original function which I differentiated was fx or was it fx plus c. So, I don't know that. So, if I integrate gx, I am not sure whether the function which will come out of this is fx or fx plus c. So, that is why what we do is when we perform an integration, we write the answer as fx plus some constant c. This constant c can be 0 which is in this case or it can be some value like 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay? Okay. So, now, so in this case, the case which I was discussing here, if I integrate xn, I should get this value. And now, we are not sure whether it was xn plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c or it was just x n plus 1 n plus 1. So, I will write a constant c here. So, this is my first formula of integration which I should remember. Integration of x n dx or x to the power n dx is x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus some constant c. Now, let us quickly derive some other formulas. You know that differentiation of ln of 
mod x is 1 by x. So, if I integrate 1 by x, what is the function which I should get? I am differentiating this to get this. Now, if I want to get this back, I need to integrate this. So, if I integrate this, I will get ln of mod x. And now, again, we are not sure whether it was ln of mod x or ln of mod x plus c. So, we will write a constant c here. Okay. Next formula. e to the power x. So, if I integrate e to the power x dx, I will get e to the power x plus c. Next formula. ln a. Now, if I differentiate ln a, I will get c or if I differentiate, only, if I integrate only ln x, no, sorry, only a to the power x, I can write it as a to the power x by ln a plus c by ln a and now this c by ln a, I can write it as another constant c dash. Okay. 